everybody, welcome back to Leosophy. Um, this is the first in the divination series, and this one's going to be pretty short because it's just an explanation as to what divination is. So, what is divination? Chiefly, the way I look at it is divination is the means by which people determine possible future outcomes with limited present knowledge, which flies completely, by the way, against the, how the scientific method makes determinations. For example, meteorology is not divination. It's close, because it's 50-50, but meteorology at least takes pains to gauge certain quantifiable and measurable things and then, and, and as a result, make determinations. One thing that people don't think of, you know, they, they tend to think of it more along the lines of like a scientific method like meteorology, that is absolutely divination, would be stock forecasts. Uh, sure, they're based on certain rational components, like you know the the previous record of a company or or pre-existing trends. But astrologers use similar things with regard to determining future outcomes too. So, stock forecasts are a lot less uh, hard math. I mean, there there are, there are mathematical components to it, but a lot of it is it's more speculative. And as a result, I would argue that in some respects, some respects, it's it's fifty fifty. Some of that is, is divination, some of that is, is science. So, where, where am I going with this in terms of you know, my future talks? Well, I'm going to be focusing on different divination rituals found from around the world. The next one I'm going to be talking about my absolute favorite, which is the I Ching. But really, what divination is, is it's ritual, which is a, a religious and spiritual act that's used to determine possible future outcomes. And that's very sensible from a human perspective because so many things are at the uh, mercy of chance when it comes to human beings, especially early human beings. Because, you know, imagine you're in a scenario where you absolutely need certain calories to survive from a certain plant, and that plant starts vanishing. You know, what's, what's causing it? You know, is it weather? Is it some other animals eating it before you know about it? There's all sorts of possibilities. And meanwhile, your neighbor, a few acres away, I mean, we're talking about pre-agriculture, by the way, they're, they're hunting and gathering and, and they're making out fine. So what's the difference? How do you determine if next week you're going to have something or not? And that's where divination comes to play. So in some ways, you could argue that divination is one of the first steps that human beings made towards acknowledging some form of divinity and taking part in spiritual rituals. So I'm just going to flesh that out a little more with specific categories, starting with the I Ching next week. So that's all I got this time. Like, share, subscribe, keep asking questions. Bye.